Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I have a little bit of a skincare collection for you guys to um, just kind of see what I have in my collection. This is the whole of it. Um, it looks crazy and after I did this video I was like flabbergasted by how much I have. But I really do use a good amount of this um, seasonally depending on what I need. Um, but this is all of it in a pile. Put all of it together. Um, so first we can start off with um, some makeup removers. Is this me waving at you? I'm doing a voiceover by the way. Um, so first I'm going to start with my Caudalie Micellar Water. Um, this is the best micellar water I've ever used. It is a little um, like small amount of micellar water but it has an adjustable spout which is really cool for travel. Um, and it's really gentle on the skin. It's got grape seed oil in it, um, and I really like to use that as a third cleanser after I do my face wash. Um, the Ole Hendrickson Balance Oil Control, to oil Control Toner. Um, I have a big one and a, a small one of this. I use this toner during the warm weather because I tend to be oilier during that time, and it really does keep oils at bay. Next, I have some of my most one of my most used items, and that's the Elf Hydrating Water Essence. This I got um, just on a whim from Ulta, I believe, and it is a coconut water essence. And if you can see the kind of the um, oil suspended when I shake it up, um, the bubbles are suspended in the water, and it's a nice, just soothing um, thing to put on before the end of your skincare routine. This is the Belief Cleansing Gel Oil Enriched. Um, sounds like a very strange name, but I like this stuff. It's an oil cleanser. I don't love it, but um, I've been using it a lot recently. Next, I have my Coconut Micellar Makeup Melter from First Aid Beauty. This is discontinued. I did get it at Marshall's. Um, I have not used this yet, but I'm kind of afraid to use it because I don't want to love it and then not be able to get it anymore. Um... But anything with coconut and micellar water I love so far, so. Next, I have my Extend Your Youth um, A-Cubed Power Foaming Cleanser. This is um, for Marshalls as well. This is a Dr. Brandt product. Um, I haven't used this either, and I'm, I can't figure out during research if that is discontinued, but I think it might be. Another cleanser I have is the Glow Recipe Blueberry Balance Cleanser. Um, this is a gentle cleanser, but it is fragranced, and I don't love that, but I've used about half of it, so I'm going to try to use that up. Next, I have my Ole Henriksen Oil Control Cleanser. This came with the Balance line, the, all the green Ole Henriksen products. I have most of them. Um, this cleanser is nice. It's uh, got tea tree oil and AHAs in it, um, and that's a mini bottle of it. Next, I have two mini cleansers. I've got the Drunk Elephant uh, Number 9 Jelly Cleanser and the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. The Number 9 Jelly Cleanser is a nice cleanser. It's really gentle, but my favorite cleanser is the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. Um, you'll see I have the large version of that, and that is my everyday cleanser. It has um, little micro exfoliants in it that are natural, plant-based, um, and I really like the consistency of this cleanser. It's really nice for morning and night and all year round for my skin type, which is combination. <clears throat> Next, we have a couple sprays. This uh, first spray is Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Spray. Um, it came in a set that I got from Herbivore. Uh, I really like the mister on this. It's nice and gentle. And um, I don't use rose sprays a lot, but they are nice if you just want to treat yourself, if you know what I mean. This came in a, um, a FabFitFun box. This is the Grace and Stella Spray All Day Rose Spray. Um, this is an intense sprayer. I don't love it. And so I might just fill the bottle up of the herbivore stuff with this after I'm done with it. Because um, I like the spray. I just don't love the mister. The next mist that I have is my very favorite mist. This is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Spray. Um, this is uh, amazing. It's expensive, but there are different sizes of it. Um, you'll notice, it gets a little blurry here, but you'll notice the 
spray is just like so gentle. It's aerosol um, and it's a continuous spray, which is really nice. Um, this stuff is a must. You need this in your life. It is so good. I spray it on David and he's like, ah, oh, it's so nice. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is a body cream. Um, this is for extremely dry skin. Um, I don't use this a whole lot. I bought this for David because his skin is extremely dry. And um, I got that for him last winter, but he hasn't used a whole lot of it. Um, but I do like it. I like First Aid Beauty. The fact that they're paraben and fragrance free and um, all that stuff is really nice. Next, my very favorite body cream is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. It's $40 at Sephora. Um, $40 may seem a lot for a lotion, but this stuff is amazing. If you haven't tried it, go and get a little sample size at Sephora. You will not regret it. Um, they have, this has Guarana in it, which is supposed to energize the skin and reduce um, signs of cellulite and firm your skin. Um, such an amazing amazing body cream. I've had three of those. Next, this is one of my most used items. This is the Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub from Molly Hendrickson, the balance line once again. Um, it's got little exfoliant beads. Black sand is what's in it. This also has AHAs in it as well. Um, it's a nice consistency. The Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. This is expensive and intense. Um, I need to use more of this, but it is really an intense AHA, BHA um, exfoliant, chemical exfoliant, and it, if I don't use it in the right way, will break me out. So I have to be really careful with that. This is from Herbivore also. It came in that set as well. This is an AHA serum, uh, mini size. This looks like a really nice serum. I have not tried this yet. It's basically clear, and I like herbivore stuff. I have a face oil that I'll show you in a minute that I really like from them. Next, I have a little mini Ole Hendrickson Transform Plus ALT Power Serum. This is, um, I've only used this once. I like it. It's more gentle than the um, Drunk Elephant one. This is a... Physical exfoliant, this is a bamboo booster exfoliant that comes with the Drunk Elephant Slay Butter Cleanser, um, which I've used up, obviously, was why that's not in this video. I like that. I like it for body exfoliant in the shower, though. The Summer Fridays R&R &R Jet Lag Mask. This is not the Jet Lag Mask. This is the R&R &R Mask. Um, I like this. It smells a lot like roses um, and does leave your skin feeling very hydrated, um, and it's nice. This is my favorite um, face mask right now, the Ole Hendrickson Fat Glow Facial. This is um, this has PHAs and Nordic Birch Sap, which are two um, excellent exfoliants um, when it comes to tightening the skin and firming collagen. This is, I messed up here. Um, I sm smeared that all over my face after I filmed that. It's am amazing. The Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. I like this a lot. I used this a lot last summer. This also has AHAs in it um, and will keep any moisture in your skin overnight. It dries down and doesn't rub off on your pillow. Um, this is a nice sleeping mask if you don't mind a little, a little fragrance in your skincare. The next thing I have here, again, Ole Hendrickson. This is a cold plunge pore mask from their balance line as well. This is literally the most beautiful color. Um, this is a really nice pore cleansing mask. It is clay based, so it can be drying, but as long as you moisturize afterwards, you should be fine. Um, this does dry down and you have to rinse it off, but it is such a pretty color and your face feels amazing when you're finished with it. And it is brightening as well. The PCA Skin Acne Gel. I got this after I got a facial when I was having a lot of acne problems. This is a nice spot treatment um, for overall treatment if you are prone to breakouts. Um, I don't use this a whole lot anymore, but I do like it for spot treatment. So Mint Pear is one of the first skincare uh, lines I got into. They're an indie brand. Um, this is their collagen serum. I also have their vitamin C serum. These are really nice products. Um, 
They are cruelty free, leaving bunny certified. And um, I really do like their stuff. This fresh vitamin nectar glow juice. Um, I love this line. Uh, this is also a much needed um, serum for me. I like this. Um, it's like halfway between a serum and an oil. And I do use this. I can use this under makeup or I can use it at nighttime, but it's, um, it is brightening. It the, decreases some dark spots. I've gotten rid of a good amount of acne scars from this, and it leaves a nice glow on your skin. Two serums from Junk Elephant in a small size. I've got the C Firma and the B Hydra. These are, these came in a kit that I got at Sephora. They are really nice. Um, I wanted to try them out before I bought the big sizes, and I feel like I could do without. I could use some of my other products for this. Um, Indie Lee Eye Wake and Eye Serum. This is a nice eye serum. It's um, clean at Sephora, um, or you can get it at Derm Store. This is a good daytime eye cream, eye serum, and I do like that one a lot. The Tatcha Silk Peony Eye Cream. This is something I got um, on a Sephora sale last year. It is a heavy duty eye cream. If you um, have dry under eyes and eyelids, it would work really well for you. And the packaging is to die for. Look at the flower there. Amazing. Um, but this is a really nice eye cream and I do recommend it, especially for those of you who have dry skin. This is from Belief. Um, this is the moisturizing eye balm, not balm, but balm. Um, I haven't used this or tried it out, but it seems, I like everything from Belief that I've tried. Um, so I can't wait to try that out when I'm out of my next eye cream that I'm going to show you, which is, um, oh, not, this is a serum. <clears throat> serum Dr. Brandt Needles No More line. Um, I don't use this a whole lot. I think it's a little intense, um, and thick, and I don't love putting a bunch of thick product on my under eyes. I'll probably declutter this once I get back home from my extended COVID-19 vacation to Connecticut. Um, but my next eye cream that I have is my everyday one. Um, again, there's the needles, no more, um, no more baggage. The next eye cream is from Dr. Robux. This is my everyday eye cream. It's collagen boosting eye treatment. It is lightweight and um, fragrance free. Uh, if you look on the inside, it is a pretty thick consistency, and but it is fragrance free again, like I said. And uh, if you'll notice, rubs in really nicely. Um, it's very lightweight, very wearable, and can be day or night. Um, see how thick consistency it is. This is the Vichy Mineral 89 Serum. If you are looking for something along the lines of the B Hydra Serum from Drunk Elephant, this is a really good contender for something like that. Um, it's a nice, uh, lightweight hydration serum. This is another, um, thing from the balance line, um, uh, Valet Hendrickson, another hydrator. This is a nice, um, hydrator for warm months for people who have oily skin. Doesn't, um, clog your pores at all and is, uh, does keep oils at bay like the rest of that line does. One of our favorites, this is Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer. I have the big and the small. We have bottles of this all over our house because this is David's favorite moisturizer. Um, he has always been looking for something that's lightweight and not going to clog up his pores and sink in quickly, and that is his favorite. I do like that a lot. Reminds me a lot of this moisturizer, which is my everyday moisturizer. Um, it's the Sheer Transformation Hydrating Moisturizer, Perfecting Moisturizer from Ole Hendrickson. This is the best moisturizer I've ever used. Moisturizer I've ever used. I had a mini of it, and then I got uh, one of this size, and then I got this one. Um, I use this morning and night. Um, it's amazing. Look how lightweight that is. It rubs in so quickly and keeps you hydrated all day. Uh, one of the first moisturizers I got here was the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice. This is a very lightweight moisturizer, but it is fragranced. Um, and I don't love a fragrance in my skincare, but it is pretty nice. I like it a lot. Especially for warmer months. I've got um, my last two items. This is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream Moisturizer. This is a really great cold weather moisturizer. It is thick, 
um, but it blocks in moisture at night. I typically use this at night instead of during the daytime. Um, I like the way it feels better without makeup on top of it. But this one is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream, one of my absolute favorites. Music